For, in the private sector, GIS is also starting to become more mainstream. It's being used by um, a lot of people. Uh, Google is a prime example of a success story with GIS, although they don't call it GIS, they don't say GIS. You'll never hear you know, publicly them say anything about GIS, but they are doing GIS. Google Earth is just exactly what GIS is. It takes layers of data, layers of inf geographical information, and overlays it on top of one another and gives you answers to your questions, whatever that question might be. So for example, uh, site analysis, which is a prime example of how the private sector is utilizing GIS. Uh, business analyst uh, software, which is uh, an extension of GIS, basically takes data layers, most of them which are readily available to the public, like parcel layers, uh, census data, um, which is going to give you income, information about um, you know, the type of people that live in the community, uh, your parcel layers, your land use, your zoning, which are going to tell you where you can open up a business, a certain type of business, and where you can't. So you take all of this information and you put it together inside a GIS system. And basically what it does is a GIS analyst will take all this information and give you choices for, for where to put up a business. These choices you know, they're not just random based upon where, you know, where it looks nice. It's, it's based on you know, hard data. It's based on you know, the property appraiser's information, census information, the local zoning, and public you know, and land use information. So based on all that, a, a, a GIS business analyst can provide for your company the answers to where do I want to open up my new franchise or where's the best where's the best neighborhood to open up a surf shop you know it just it all depends on the type of people that are living in the neighborhood you know who you're trying to attract um, what type of income you're trying to attract all this information is out there in digital format and can be put into a GIS and with the right uh, with the right software and the right person doing the analysis can get you the answers. And not only that, but after the, after the, the analysis portion is done, if you need assistance getting um, financing, you need to go to a bank, you need to come up with a business plan, well, GIS is perfect for making uh, exhibits and charts out of this data that it analyzes to come up to, so you can bring this um, information and show it to a banker or an investor and it's probably pretty highly impressive that you analyze this with a GIS system and not you know you didn't just pick it out because this building was for sale for a good price you know so um, it has many components to why private sector can benefit site analysis is probably the, the, the biggest and uh, the, the best uh, way to save time and money for investors